Girl, you know I need, you know I you know I need, 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 you know I we are talking about little Uzi Vert. Yeah, man. And G Easy. G Easy. The rest of our content for this week is up. Links in the description. So go check that out. Monday mix, intro video, story time, and the topic. All yes. that to all that uh content is out and ready for y'all to uh to indulge. This week's so. topic, of course, we've been talking about doubt, self external whatever it be yeah man. and just the doubt bro we're gonna get it rolling with the retwist yeah for sure let's talk about little uzi first yeah right? yeah, 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 all yeah, uzi yeah first man i had, uh read this fader interview to get more acting with uzi i'm not really a fan of uzi right um, he's a he's more of a fan of uzi man. i'm not really I, you i went to the concert I, I went to the concert but i mean like you bump uzi and sh I, don't, I, don't, I don't bump uzi you know uzi not rotation but i mean i know who uzi is i know what he on i know the songs Lucifer. he drop and stuff I see you know that type of stuff. I don't know that, bro. But um, Who's all, after we're after reading the interview though. Anyway, after reading the Fader interview, which is, the link is gonna be here, um, for sure. Um, so after reading it, I learned a lot about Uzi. I learned about how he came up and yeah. what he was on, like, and he had been he's been grinding for like for like six he's years. He's from Philly, right? Yeah, he's from Philly. Okay. He's from Philly. Starting off as C Lab Vertical, um, back when he was like seventeen. <laughs> no idea. Uh, he was about 17 and he still had like his old, he was still, why was still Uzi? Like, you know, he was still Uzi. Um, and that's what, that's what eventually turned him into Lil Uzi Vert. Cause like they said that his like, his like rapping right. style was like a little Uzi. <laughs> they said it was like a little Uzi. So he called himself a little Uzi Vert cause the vert, vertical was him, was the direction of his career was, you know, was going. Vertical, he was like, I'm going up, like I'm blowing up. So Lil Uzi Vert. So sounds like a rap name hey, generator. Hey, he was just getting it. And I feel like it's just it's just a vibe, you know. And back then he had uh he had the point. Where's what I'm talking to? Like this is what I'm talking about right now. I got to the point where I was like, where is he? I know he got doubt, but like what was the turning point? And it was a turning point where he had gotten a job. He had the job for four days, bro. And um he had the job for four days. And he quit the job. He quit. That was the only job he had. He quit the job. His mom found out he quit the job. She kicked him out. So at this point, he homeless, no job, bro. And he, this dude goes and gets a face tattoo. And he was like, and literally he said, you know, if I get this face tattoo, I gotta focus. Clearly, cause he you ain't like, getting no regular job. Said, he was like, I'm not gonna go into no interview with no suit on and get a job with this tattoo on my face. And it said like faith, it was like faith on a wrap under his hairline. And, um, and I mean, at the end of the day, at that point, dude started, grinding he just focused just went extra hard you know obviously because he's look where he is now yeah. um in that span of time got noticed by yams actually Except back yams. in 20 yeah back you know back in 2014 yams was like you know co-signed him kind of on twitter and drama and canon was like what's up like you know they both from philly they was like what's up like you the you the new age you the new and he was on like this this citywide mixtape like um, like there's one of those compilation tapes with the track Uzi that ended up being on the radio. That's the track that Yams ended up co-signing. Okay. And um, Cannon and uh, Drama was like, what's up? And they signed that dude to the New Generation label. I think pretty sure that's what it's called. Generation yeah, New or New Generation. Generation Now? Yes, that's what it is. That's what Generation it is. Generation Now, DJ And they signed Drama, him to that. Cannon. And they moved him and his family to Atlanta. And it was like, you about to do better. And he's been on ever since. And it has been, I feel like them, I mean, think about it. Both them, both uh, um, Canon and Drama, they both feel like they're mid 30s. Yeah. This dude is like, what is he, 23 now? I think. He's he 23. Younger. Um, yeah, 22, 23. And uh, I mean, that's like, that's like, that could be the kid, you know what I mean? And that's the way, and they like just watch over him type. And you know, they just make Mentor sure he cool and just. They letting him just figure his own stuff out. That's the way he's taking it. I mean, I see it as DJ Drama and Cannon may, I mean, who really knows? But I've said it before, controversy sells. And that man is very controversial in his own way. Obviously, he has his name, which many people say means, or is slurred to mean, or say Lucifer. He also has his uh, critics when he went and did his interview on Ebro and that type of stuff where he's like I'm not rapping on them type of beats and yeah, that yeah. type of whatnot BS where he's like I'm not even really a rapper I'm a rock star you know what I mean he's just got them 
demon worshiping kind of songs as well. What so. you talking about? That why you bump his music? No, nah, I don't. Are you? Are you I don't uh, bump this man's you music. You caught up? <laughs> I don't bump this man's music. What do you, wait, can you can you expand on that though? The that's, that's a, that's demon a, worshiping? Because I I didn't even know his about new that. album. For example, I haven't really played it through. You talking about the album more consistently? Version? No, I'm talking about there's a track on there that says 44 four plus two two two, which would equal. Oh. The magic number, the demon number. So, how, well, how does it? What he says that as a lyric? Is that a bar? In the I track? mean, you don't hear some of his rap lyrics. Come on now. Like what? All my friends are dead. That type of shit. He's that's, a that's... demon worshiper, man. Who knows what he's on? He's got upside down six earrings and shit like don't that. Matter, so, bros. I mean, I, I mean, he can do what he wants. That's what okay. I'm saying. I'm just pointing that out. Controversy. Well, that's sells. a whole another level of doubt running into him where half. I didn't even know that was another population of people that, that thought that about him. So that's crazy. You were just hearing this? Yeah, bro. I, did, oh, I, you, I mean, I, I, heard, I heard that, you know, people thought he was on some stuff. I thought it was just because he was like, people thought Tiger was on that stuff too. Like, and look where he at. Upside <laughs> down. The dude rocks upside down crosses, bro. Everybody does. Nah, bro. Girls got leggings with literally upside down crosses printed across the hose. That's white. Nah. Uh, okay. <laughs> but okay. Anyway, that's another level of doubt hitting Uzi, and nonetheless, Uzi is able to overcome this and is he? and sell albums. Yeah, he's selling. He's making money, man. Touring. You went to his concert, so I mean, yeah, I didn't you saw how lit it was. Regardless, you saw how shout lit out Willie B. You saw how lit it was, bro. You saw how lit the concert was. It's it was definitely like, new energy. Him and Playboy Cardi just did going, their bro. thing. It's a new energy. Man was. Climbing up in the rafters, in the bleachers, in the Max Center. Dude was wilding. So, yeah. I, but, was, I was literally like five feet from this man. Slapped him up. He's jumping down off the bleachers. So, yeah. So, that's Uzi. Uzi, nonetheless, that was last week. Uzi ain't, ain't slowing down no time soon. Even if people think he's a, a devil worshiper, they're going to show up at the concert. So, we're going to move into G Easy. So, G Easy. All right. He came from the bottom. I can say that. He Did came he? from the bottom. Yeah, bro. He came from the bottom out there. Where's he from? He's from Oakland. Okay. Yeah, he out there. He's from the Bay. Uh, he's from the Bay Area. You know, Key Lion also from the Bay Area. You know, E40, that type of, you know, e I am Sue Auto. And uh, from the bottom, mainly funded his uh, These Things Happen, an album that dropped last year. He mainly funded that from his be, Must Be Nice record because that was fully self produced. Never heard that one. Yeah. I, I mean, that was like the first like record he put together. And it was all self-produced. It was all in-house, you know what I mean? So he made all the money off of that. And he was able to save up 100K off of that alone to basically fund his These Things Happen record. So he was able to, I feel like to him, like that was him like coming out and he was like, I'm about to go off. And that's got some hits on there, obviously, that did commercially well. It did well. Uh, he had some stuff on there. Uh, I feel like Amosis, a lot of his stuff just, it's getting played through 2K and stuff, and like a lot of like like that's money though. That's I guess what check. I'm saying though, it's like the pop, more in the pop realm. It wasn't really like getting radio play on hip hop stations, but it was getting played in like the mall on satellite radio hip -hop stations. Hip hop is pop though now. That that's another <laughs> conversation. I'm not even gonna go that route. Wait, the people we got on there right now, both of them can fall into that. So I can't. I'm not gonna go into that route right now. But G Easy. Is that's the back could be the new age? That's this is the new age, man. You know, new age is just moving that way where they about making money and they not really so much about they about expanding the culture to include and be more inclusive instead of being such an ex exclusive culture where you know. And it's just about perspective. I mean, I came back and forth. It's cool, you know. It's whatever. I always but, say it, and I've said it to you before. We've been creating music as humans for a very long time now. Yeah, I mean, it just progresses. And exactly, and that's what it's, it's at the point where it's the same thing with the athlete. The, the athletes are getting better, the musicians are getting better mm. in a way because we're creating different sounds and different types of music that have moved away from the root genre, you know what I mean, that is hip hop yeah. or whatever. There's yeah. so many sub genres and whatnot now yeah. that to even call 
what these people are creating or what anyone's creating nowadays yeah. in a certain genre in that box it, it's disrespectful it's dis yeah, yeah exactly and yeah. I've said that before to you so that definitely makes sense I definitely feel you though on that for been sure been creating music for too long for I mean and, and you see even Uzi dropping tracks you know that he's that he's dubbing alternative rock right. you know what I mean so that's a whole working other, with Marilyn Manson a whole other vibe you know <laughs> whole other vibe so it's just a whole other that's what I'm saying it's, it's, music is progressing and we think about it hip hop is relatively young so we're still in the growing stages we're still trying to figure out what hip hop is True. and even though it's been around for 20 years um you know it's been evolving throughout those 20 years immensely fast so Super it hasn't fast. really stood still at any point it so. is the new pop as i said yeah um but back to what we talk about gez man so like i said gez was getting to play on on two on 2k and and on like the satellite radio stations in the mall like that type of stuff and um get, like nonetheless getting money you know what i mean getting money getting plays and touring and stuff and he got his own he got his little fan base but he can't seem to break out from the core and I feel like most of it is because of the doubt being placed. I'm almost overwhelming on his character where um, all the things that are said about him almost hold him back from becoming a true artist and actually being in his own lane and doing his own thing because everybody's trying to compare him to all these other people. And that's, he's it's still in the process. After he dropped that album, after these things happened, um, he's still trying to develop that sound. He just dropped a track with Cardi B and ASAP. No Limit, yeah, that and is like, on the mix. So that came out of that. nowhere. Like what? Like Cardi, like that came out of nowhere. And yeah. um. Survived though, and, and that's doing well. It, it is doing well, but I feel like a lot of reason why it's doing well is because he got ASAP on the hook and Cardi B. and Cardi got a verse and she snapped on it, so it's gonna do well. G East, I mean, I like a couple of his songs. You know, what I mean, that I yeah. first heard, but I kind of listened to him back. We talked about this recently, right? and it was kind of like uh, the bars is kind of iffy. Yeah, but it's yeah, but it's a whole different vibe. You know what I'm saying? He's shooting for a certain type of feel, exactly. and it's just I don't know. But the thing is, the doubt as being created from the outside influences our stopping from becoming a major success within the hip hop community and gaining that respect. How do you so. compare him to like a Macklemore? To me, they're like pretty. They came out like the same time. They're like, similar, um, but Macklemore obviously has better has has a better result. Macklemore can rap a little bit. Yeah, he can actually. I feel like sure. Macklemore can actually rap, and his production value is just on another level on than you know G Easy, and that's the reason why. And Macklemore's brand is a little different. Yeah, he has some niche, some niche audiences, and they're gonna they're gonna always back him up. You know what I mean? Jeezy does. Jeezy has that audience, but it's just a they not they they not hip hop. You know, it's just them, they're, they're not they're gonna not go out and buy his album. You know, they gonna they not gonna go out and buy his album like that. So it's just a different type of vibe. But I did um, read this interview, man, that was done by Claim. Um, okay. And they just talked to him about about the fact that you know about the fact that he had had made that these things happen, you know, record happen and where he was moving forward. And he was just like, man, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to make money. I'm just trying to do my thing. I'm trying to be out here just making music and I'm just doing me. And I was like, I feel it, you know, like, cause he has a lot of, like, first of all, he's a white rapper, you know, and like, Always just like- gonna have critics. Just like Macklemore, you know, and he has the same similar type of boundaries. Appropriate, and, cultural appropriation critics. And that it's type a of lot stuff. of that stuff that comes to a point where it affects the way people view his music. And um, especially with like stuff like they compare him to Eminem, he like man, Eminem was like he could rap. It. One of the best, he, greatest people to ever record. Exactly. So it's a whole different story when you come to like okay, yeah, it's, you know, cultural appropriation. It's like this dude doing it better. Than some people in the culture. So I mean, some people that that came up in the culture. So it's a different type of story. Um, but Jeezy is just like. I feel like that boundary is like, oh, you put if you go be a white rapper, you gotta be rapping like this, like, and he's like, I'm already on now, I'm doing this, but like, you don't even got the bars like that, so it's just a lot of different things that are coming into the point where it's holding him back from being who he could be. So, I mean, it is what it is, but y'all can peep the article for yourselves and see how y'all feel about it in the description, of exactly. course. So again, go check that out. All of our content is out. Exactly. Thank you for the retwist, sir. Oh, yes, again, that's little Uzi Vert and G Easy. Yeah. Little information about their career career in the days and how the days played a part and a doubt that they faced within their careers as well so and the articles i feel like do place a a nice little focus on that so we'll go ahead and end it like there man so again man all that content is dropped for y'all until yes, next sir. week this friday's conquer peace